The Department of Education is apologizing to these families, saying they will be reimbursed for subways, even a private car if need be to get their kids to and from school. But they want to make sure that families know there is not a bus driver shortage in New York City. Dear Mayor de Blasio, my name is Cedar Moore. Eight-year-old Cedar Moore making a plea to the mayor to fix a bus debacle the first week of school at PS 770 in East Flatbush. Made a lot of kids late to school and made a lot of parents mess work. The bus company says that they do not have drivers. What are you going to do about it? Bye. After waiting at the bus stop for up to 45 minutes, Cedar's parents were forced to scramble to get him to school and the same thing to get him home in the afternoon from school. Three days in a row. We were informed um, by the school that OPT uh, and Joe Faz and the superintendent confirmed there is a driver shortage and that they, I think the words, the exact words from the letter were, uh, we cannot guarantee busing at this time. And then this letter was sent home from the principal telling parents to make plans to pick up their kids. Finally, Wednesday afternoon, a bus driver showed up. Everyone on the first day of school, everything is crazy, everything is crazy. Even they don't even have everything together on the first day of school. And he claims it will all be sorted out, but this bus driver wants parents to know he loves his job. I take my job very serious, very serious because it's precious cargo I'm carrying back here. So clearly there's still some confusion. While that sweet bus driver did show up today, there were still some buses missing, and PS 770 confirmed to me that they could not tell parents if the buses were going to show up or not even today. So still, three days into the school year, they still have a lot of figuring out to do. Only time will tell if these buses are going to be showing up.